With AI, podcasting has changed forever. And in this video, I'm sharing some of the best AI tools. And if you aren't using some of these, you could be missing out on the potential to massively improve the growth, the quality of your show, your podcast workflow, all of it. By the way, my name is Jerry Potter. Yes, it rhymes with the boy wizard. I'm about to show you five AI tools that can help you be more confident on camera, improve your sound quality, grow your audience, increase how interesting your show is, and more. And by the way, the fifth one, a little creepy as some AI tools are, but also really powerful if you wanna build trust with your audience faster, all right? Let's jump in. Sometimes our episodes can start to feel a little monotonous when it's the same person talking for 20, 30, 60 minutes. And maybe you don't have guests on your show to change it up. Well, another way to do that is to add an announcer to introduce each episode or maybe a feature on each episode. And I remember once paying somebody hundreds of dollars to record an intro for my podcast but now you can do it for free with AI tools like Eleven Labs. You come in, type what you want them to say. So this is part of the intro for one of my podcasts. Then you can come down here and you can choose from tons of different voices, accents, tones. You can see they have conversational, news, characters. Then you click generate speech and then you can play it back. There's no wrong way to be an entrepreneur. And that's the dirty little secret the business gurus don't want you to know. There's a few sliders on the right if you wanna change how it sounds. And then when you're ready, you just click download right here and it saves it to your computer. A common complaint about AI generated voices is they don't sound realistic, although I think they sound pretty realistic, but maybe the tone or the delivery isn't quite what you wanted and you couldn't do it with what was in there. Well, another thing this does is you can actually record something in your own voice. And if you don't like your voice, it can change it into a totally different voice while maintaining your cadence and speech. Or maybe you want to use it to reach more people. By the way, I was born in Tokyo, so that's why I decided to do Japanese. Have you ever recorded an episode, but the audio didn't come out very good? Maybe you forgot to select your main microphone before recording. You accidentally bumped your mixer and the game got turned up too loud and it came out a little distorted. The good news is AI can make almost anything sound like it was recorded in a high-end studio, and I'm loving Adobe Podcast Enhance. I've used it to remove echo, fix volume levels, and more. And best of all, at least as of this recording, it is a free tool. If you want to hear all the tests I ran on it, we'll remove the echo from the echoiest place on earth, the bathroom. It was a lot of fun. You can actually see the link to the video on the screen at the top right now or later in the description. If you've been frustrated with your download numbers, never seem to get higher or not get higher fast enough, you can use an AI tool to pull out clips to put on social media. In fact, short form videos like TikToks, YouTube Shorts, Facebook and Instagram Reels, even on LinkedIn now, the vertical videos are starting to grow. These are designed and will almost by default be shown to people who are not following you yet. And they'll do it for free. Now, my favorite tool for this is Opus Clips because it does a really good job finding clips that have the potential to do really well on social media. It's taken clips of my podcast that have reached 10 times as many people as I have followers on Instagram, for example. Two more tools to go, including the creepy one. But if you are an online business owner and you want to learn how to run your business in half the time it normally takes, that's what we help people with on this channel. So consider hitting subscribe for more videos like this and other things to help you make more money with less work. Have you ever felt like your podcast is important enough that it should have its own website? You can create one in seconds with PodPage, and they recently added a bunch of AI tools that can turn each episode into a blog post, and then turn those blog posts, reviews, and your episodes into an email newsletter that you can send out to your list. If you're an audio podcaster and you're used to being able to look at your notes, but you want to add video to your podcast, you may be worried that while reading, you won't be looking at the camera. Personally, I love the teleprompter that I got, but if you don't have one or don't want to invest in one, consider using Descript's eye contact feature. These two videos on the screen right now are actually the same video, one of them where I'm looking at my script and the other one where I've used Descript's eye contact AI feature to creepily reorient my eyeballs to make eye contact with the camera. One of the best reasons to have a video podcast is close-up video builds trust much faster with an audience than just audio only. And yes, while it's creepy, making eye contact with your audience also builds trust much, much faster. Tons of psychological studies behind this. All right, which one are you gonna try? Adding an announcer, fixing bad audio, automatically creating clips to grow faster, automatic blog posts, or creepy eye contact? Let me know in the comments right now. I'd love to hear it. And I've put links for everything I just showed you in the description 
description of this video. You just click the more button below and you'll be able to see everything. Thank you so much for watching today and I will see you in the next video.